Centerville, Tennessee, and we've just become quick friends. And uh, God led them to uh, to Exodus from Tennessee to Georgia to, to be a part of our church. And uh, man, that didn't put any pressure on me at all. That God would have you guys, all 15 of your family members, come to. Uh, have you any more kids this week? No. Okay. All right. Just checking. Um, I try to keep a running tally. So um, God called them uh, not only to be our friends, but he called them to leave where they were at, to uproot their entire lives and their entire families to come to Georgia because they believe so strongly what God has done for church. And I'm humbled by that. I promise you I'm humbled by that. I consider them dear friends. I consider Lonnie uh, one of my closest friends. And more importantly, I've seen God work in their lives over the last few years, and I've seen God work in Lonnie's life. He has a, a tremendous grasp of the scriptures, and best of all, he's got a servant's heart. Uh, you know, I asked Lonnie, what, what do you want to do at this church? What, what, do, what, do, what do you feel like is whatever? <laughs> whatever I can do, however I can serve. And God, that's, guys, that's, that's the heart of being a deacon. David, you know, that's the, that's the heart of being a deacon is a servant's heart. I guess David the same thing. He'll do anything he can for this church. He has a heart to serve not only the church of God, but the people of God. And Lonnie has that as well. And so it is my pleasure to, uh, this morning, ordain him as a deacon of our Murchie Bible Fellowship. We, we met with Lonnie. We uh, went through an ordination council with him, uh, confirmed that he is qualified to serve as a deacon. And you guys voted not only to nominate him, but to confirm him. As a deacon, so today he will begin his three-year term of serving as a deacon. For some of your families, he will be your caregiver, and he will be your servant. And so we are excited about that. And so at this time, I want to ask for all the men of the church, uh, if you will, come up for just a second and gather around Lonnie. Lonnie is a deacon. We do so with laying on of hands and with prayer. And we are commissioning him to go and serve the Lord and to serve you guys as a church. And so we're going to pray over you, Lonnie, and then we'll present you with a, with a certificate suitable for framing. And we will uh, let you get working on your ministry. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you so much for Lonnie Garrett. God, I thank you, Lord, for the family that you have sent down here to be part of this work. God, I'm thankful, God, for his knowledge of the scriptures. God, I'm thankful even more, God, for his servant's heart, Lord. He just desires to serve. And God, I thank you, Lord, for putting him uh, in our path, God, and for bringing him to us to serve this body of Christ. Lord, I just pray, Father, that you will use him in a powerful way to minister to our families, to care for our hurts, God, to help us in whatever ways uh, you see fit, God, and to lead our families, Lord, uh, as they walk with you. And I just pray, Lord, you'll, God, uh, anoint him in a powerful way, God, that you'll uh, use him in an awesome way for your kingdom, God, and we just pray it all in your beautiful name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, well, I present to you, join us in. I present to you, Lonnie Garrett, as the deacon of our Murchie Bible Fellowship. Ooh. Yes, I think you your expiration date and you'll begin your term in serving <laughs> our family. Do you have any questions, comments, or anecdotes you'd like to share with the crowd? Nope. I didn't think so. I kind of figured that was how it was going to go. So I'm a little bit uh, overwhelmed because Lonnie wore a tie this morning. And uh, so, <laughs> I know, right? So, there's more scripture in that tie than I usually read in the week. So uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe not. But uh, anyway, this is I hope you're excited about what God's doing in our church. And, uh, man, all I can tell you, when you leave this place, go out into the fields, take the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. We'll be dismissed. Father, thank you so much, Lord, for your mercy toward us, God. Thank you so much for the folks that you brought to be part of this work, God. And it's not my church, God. It's not Ryan's church. It's your church. God, and I thank you for the folks that you brought to serve you here, God, to take the gospel into the fields, Lord. Lord, enable us by your Holy Spirit, empower us by your Holy Spirit, God, to be faithful, faithful witnesses. And we just pray in Christ's beautiful name this morning. And I'll God.
people said, Amen. Amen.